Hey guys, it's Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make this double-sided house number plaque for your mailbox. So let's get going. I'll show you how easy it is to make this scrap wood sign. The supplies that you're going to need are obviously your starting piece of wood. So I just took a plank from a pallet, just a piece of a plank, and I added some design to it just using my jigsaw. I just cut out some squares on the, or triangles on the edges. And then um, I sanded it down. I gave it a good sanding. So you'll need a piece of wood. You'll need um, a paint and a polyurethane. So our mailbox is black, so I'm gonna paint it in black. And my numbers, I'm gonna leave a natural color of the wood. So if you want a different color, you'll need two colors of paint. And then you'll need a polyurethane. I'm gonna apply my paint with a foam brush, but that's not recommended for polyurethane, so I'm using a um, regular synthetic paint brush for that. Um, for safety when you're using your Dremel, you're going to need a dust mask and um, eye goggles. On your Dremel, um, I'm choosing today to use my Dremel with the flex shaft attachment. Um, this helps the carving process just a little bit easier. You don't need it, you can just use this. It just gets really heavy in your hands after a while. So I'm using the flex shaft and I'm using these high speed cutters that are meant for carving and, and engraving. I'm just using the round one today, but there are others. I'm not going to get too fancy, and I think the rounded uh, tip that I'm using will help um, give a nice shape to the numbers that I want to carve. Um, for hanging, you're going to need, so I'm using a drill just to drill a couple of pilot holes, so if you think that you can get your eye bolts in without using the drill, you won't need that. But I'm using a 3 32nd inch uh, drill bit. So you'll need four eye bolts, two for the sign, and two for your mailbox. And then you'll need two S hooks, and I have two different kinds here. I'm going to show you which one I like, and I'll tell you why um, when we get the sign made. So there's two different kinds. This is just a regular old S hook that you'll find in a hardware store. These ones you'll also find in the hardware store, but usually where all the plant stuff is, they're usually packaged a little bit differently, but they're plant hangers. Um, and I'll show you why um, when we hang it, why I like those ones better. So you'll need two of those, preferably that look the same. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my paint and... Um, cover both the front, the back, the sides with uh, of this piece of wood with paint. I'll probably do a couple of coats. Um, sometimes this wood tends to suck in the paint and depending on the look you're going for, which on this I'm not going particularly rustic, so um, I don't want to leave any um, bare wood showing. So I'm probably going to do a few coats of this. Okay, so I have my plaque, it's painted front, back, sides, it's all dry, and now it's just time to carve out the numbers. So before we get started, I'm going to trace out some numbers, and I'll show you the way that I do it. Um, so if you're not good with freehand, this is a really good shortcut or cheater's method, whatever works for you. So I have a piece of paper that has my numbers that when I put it on top of my plaque, it fits really nicely on there. So I've sized it up so that it would fit my plaque. Now to transfer these numbers, I'm gonna flip my piece of paper over backwards and I'm gonna take the side of a chalk and just cover the entire back side of the paper. Make sure you get to the edges. You wanna um, make sure the edges of your numbers are completely covered. And then I'm gonna put it on top of my plaque where I want the numbers and then I'm going to just take a pen. You can take a pencil. It doesn't even have to work. You can take the tip of a paintbrush, the handle, and I'm going to outline all of my numbers and that's going to transfer the chalk. Okay, as you can see, it's not perfect. I just needed something to give me a general outline. So you see the, ch the chalk is now transferred onto the plaque, and now I know where I want to carve. So now that I have a basic outline of what my numbers need to look like, I can bring it out to my workshop and start carving. 
Alrighty, so I'm out in the workshop. I have my um, my carving bit, the round one, loaded into my Dremel. And I'm just going to start tracing um, the inside of these numbers and just keep cleaning it all out until all the wood is removed. So here we go. And I'm turning my machine on high. So now that I have my numbers all carved out, I want to go back and clean it up. And I've started to do that on the number two already. So when I'm first putting my numbers down, when I'm first carving them, I tend to sort of carve in the direction that I would draw. So for the number two, I would loop it around into two, and that tends to be how I carve. So when I go back and clean it up, it's, it's easier for me to go in the opposite direction and sort of wave my carving tool back and forth over all the ridges to help smooth those out. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side and then we can add our hardware. So my sign is now complete. It's all dry. The polyurethane has dried overnight. It's not sticky or tacky anymore and we're ready to get this baby hung. So I'm going to just take and drill two holes in the top of my plaque. And these are just pilot holes to get the um, screw eyes in without um, too much work. <laughs> then I'm going to take my screw eyes and just start screwing them in. Just two of them will go into the sign and then two will go into the mailbox post. And that's about as far as I can hand tighten it, so I'm going to stick a screwdriver in there and get it in a little bit tighter. There we go. Now I'm going to take my S hooks, and I'm going to show you why I like these plant hooks as opposed to regular old S hooks. If you take, I'm going to use my um, my vice grip wrench, but you can use any kind of wrench or a needle nose plier. When you put the hook through your through your screw eye, if you wanted to, you could hang it just like that. But because we get some wind around here, I'm just going to tighten these together. Just squeeze them. so that I close up that S. So now that that's a permanent hold, it's not going to come off if it gets too windy. And when I get my screw eyes put into my mailbox post, I'm going to do the same thing to this end. I'm going to close, I'm going to squeeze that closed. And as you can see, I put the screw eyes into the bottom of the mailbox and tightened up those S hooks. So now that's a permanent hold. And here's what the finished number looks like.